Hello, everybody. So on LinkedIn, <clears throat> someone reached out to me and said, is it possible to customize the invalid, so the wrong, answer message layer in Articulate Storyline 360? And the answer is yes, okay? So let me create a layer. By the way, this is created in that two seconds, which is why it looks terrible. So let me create a, um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna create a question. I can never remember what questions are, but uh, sat in slides, graded question. Let's pick a um, multiple response insert. There we go. Give it a second. Okay, so which of these singers are from uh, the uh, from America? There we go. That's the example I gave. So it is uh, Elvis, Madonna. Um, who else we got from America? I can't think of any singers from America. Um, Brittany. And let's pick someone who's not from America. And let's go for Taylor Swift, who is from. Whilst editing this video, it's been brought to my attention that uh, Taylor Swift is actually from America. I'm oh, sure she's Canadian. I'm sure she's been to Canada. That's what I meant. Anyway, I apologise to all you Swifties out there, or whatever you're called. Um, yeah, she's from America. Um, born in December, 1989. There you go. Something else I discovered today as well. I apologise. Sorry. Sorry, Taylor. Anyway, here you have it. So which of these things is from America? There you go. So down the bottom here, you've got the layers. You've got the correct layer. Well done. You've got it right. You've got the incorrect layer. I'm going to show you a few different things to do in this. So you need to stay with the video to see all of the different elements that you're going to do. So the question was, can we customize the invalid uh, answer? So yes, here we go. So this is the invalid answer. This is the incorrect answer. So in the layer down the bottom here, the first thing you can do, you can change incorrect. You can change it to whatever you want. So wrong or um, sorry, that's not the correct answer whatever you want. This bit here, you did not select the correct response. So you can modify that. So if you've got multiple questions down here, this bit that you enter in here will be relevant to the exact question that you're on. So you can say um, the correct answer is Elvis, Madonna, and Britney. That's Britney Spears, everyone. Um, so there you go. That's how you modify just that, but maybe you want to do more. Maybe you want to modify the color. Let me show you how to do that. So what you need to do, go to view and go to feedback master. And here we are in the feedback master. It's taken us on to the actual uh, incorrect answer you know, result that we're on. So this is what we're on here. Now on this particular layer, you can't change this box. But I'll show you how to change it in the very near future. What you can do though, you can change this. So we've got this icon here, you can move it however you want it. You can change the color of it. So there you go, it's blue. Or you can delete it. And then once you've deleted it, you can do anything you want. You can put in maybe a new icon. So what we do we have here? Let's put in an icon for wrong. Let's pick one of these. Uh, let's go for that one there. There you go, put that in there. Perfect. Or I can have it over here. You can do anything there, you, you, whatever you want. I could insert a, a photo or someone. Yeah, so you can have that. There you go, you can have that on there. I don't recommend it because it looks terrible, but you get the idea. So you can have whatever you want on there. But maybe you want to color this in. Maybe you want this box a different color. The way to do it, if you go to this layer at the top, so this is kind of the uh, the parent layer, the uh, the overarching layer for all of this. If you make a change on here though, go to format, let's fill it in. It changes all of these, yeah? But what's the problem with that, Alan? Well, the problem is this one here on the left side is for the right answers, all right? So you don't want to do that. So let's just undo that. What I'd recommend you do though, is click on that box in this layer at the top, copy it, go to uh, this one here, paste it. There you go. Fill it in the color that you want. So maybe you want some kind of your know, red related color. So it's pink. I'll send that to the back. So I'm just going to right click on it, send to back, 
and then there we've got that. So it's not impacted the correct answer. But maybe whilst I'm here, I want to change the correct answer. So again, I've just pasted the same box that I had. Go to format, shape fill. Let's give it a nice light green. Same process, send to back. So we've got that at the back. We've got the green tick box. We've got this one here with this kind of pinkish color. We've got the big ugly black icon. Again, I wouldn't use that icon. It's just me, me demonstrating how to do that. And once you've done these, you simply close the master view. Now, whilst I've got your attention, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more Articulate Storyline videos. Anyway, on with it. You can see here now that we're back in the normal slide. So which of these are from America? You've got the correct answer, and it's now in this nice green because that's what we changed it to. And you've got the red answer, which is the incorrect one that says, sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer is Elvis, Madonna, and Britney. Once again, going back to the correct one, you can modify it if you wish to do so. And also, if you were to be having more options, so if I went to design and gave them on attempt, if I went to two attempts, I then get this try again. So I click on try again. Now, I don't like try again because it's like incorrect. It's suggesting it's wrong, which it is, but it's, you know, I like to change this into like a question mark. You do the same process. You know, we could have done it all at the same time. So if you, Feedback Master, you're in this one here. Let's delete that. I'm going to insert a text box. I'll put a question mark in the text box. I'll highlight it. Just all I'm doing is modifying text, which is why I'm going through it nice and quickly. There you go. Let's put that kind of in the middle. And I like to use, ugh, that looks terrible. I like to use like an amber color. There you go, an orangey amber for the text. There you go, it's me doing it very quickly. When you're in here though, I'm in Feedback Master, so just go to Feedback Master and go to Close Master View. We can now see I've modified this to have this kind of amber rather than this big red cross. And as I showed you before, you can just change this. You can say, um, not quite, please try again. And um, yeah, you can just delete that text if you want it. You don't need it. So there you go, perfect. Move it down a little bit, make it look a bit tidier. So that's how you do it. But let me just show you, a, I'm gonna show you just one extra little step. So this is this. So there's one extra little step is, I'm gonna add in another slide, which is gonna be another graded question. And let's go for, I'm gonna go for multiple choice. I'm going to insert it. There you go. Um, I'm just gonna make this one up. There we go. So you can see I've just put some bits in just to just to demonstrate. So if I go down the bottom right here, so you've got correct, and you've got incorrect. But remember on the incorrect, we changed it to say, you know, Elvis and Britney Spears and Madonna were from America. Well, that's not relevant anymore for this one because this part of it is relevant only to this question, okay? However, the bits that we changed into pink and the bits that we changed into green, they are all still relevant. And if I add in, if I add a number of attempts from one to two, I get my try again. And again, the try again, you've got the orange question mark because we did it on the master slide. Um, but the incorrect, you know, we changed that to be, you know, sorry, that's not quite right. And we deleted that, but these all come through because they're part of the master template, which will be coming through for each of these different tests. So you can see the American one, it's got different options or different answers to this one down here. Anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you've got any questions, you want me to cover anything, leave a comment. There you go. Leave a comment in the uh, in the channel. Um, I, I recorded this video because someone messaged me on LinkedIn uh, with a specific question. So feel free to ask the questions. Subscribe to my channel, like the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, it all helps. And um, good luck creating those uh, or modifying those answers in Articulate Storyline.